This is a quick tutorial for Camtasia users about how to create a high-definition video for YouTube. The tutorial requires that you have Camtasia version 5 or version 6 and a YouTube account. We'll be using the latest version of QuickTime to save the video. So if you don't have it, download and install the free version from the Apple website. The first time we do this, we have to set up the recorder. Click the Record the Screen option on the task list. In the Record tool, select Options from the Tools menu. In the File panel, select Save as AVI. On the Video tab, for Video Configuration, select Manual and specify 30 frames per second. On the Audio tab, click the Audio Format button. If you haven't changed this before, you'll probably see an untitled setting with PCM format and 22.05 kHz 16-bit mono. Let's save this as the factory setting. Now select attributes of 48 kHz 16-bit mono assuming you're recording with a mono microphone. We'll save this setting as YouTube HD so we can remember these parameters. Click OK and OK again in the Options dialog. At this point you're ready to record and import any material you need for your screencast. The first time you bring a clip into the timeline, you get this dialog, which asks for the recording dimensions. Here you should pick the HD choice to get 1280 by 720 pixels. When you're finished editing and ready to produce the video, you need to use the right parameters for YouTube to recognize it as high definition in what's called the 720p format. So I'll begin by selecting Produce Video As from the task list. In the Production Wizard, I want to create a new preset just for use with my YouTube videos. So I'll click Add Edit Preset. In the next dialog, I'll press the New button to create a new preset. For preset name, I'll call it YouTube HD. For the format, I'll choose QuickTime Movie and click Next. In the next screen, I'll press the QuickTime Options button. In the Movie Settings dialog, I'll make sure the Video box is checked and press the Settings button. For Compression Type, I'll select H.264, make the frame rate 30 frames per second and keyframes automatic. For Compressor Quality, I'll select Best and click OK. Now I'll click the Size button and set the dimensions of the video to 1280 by 720 HD and click OK. Back at the Movie Settings dialog, I'll make sure the Sound box is checked and click the Associated Settings button. For Compressor, I'll choose MPEG-4. For Rate, I'll select 48 kilohertz. For size, 16-bit is the only option. And I want to use stereo. Note that you need to use the stereo setting, even if your original recording is mono, for YouTube to recognize this as high definition. Now I need to click the Options button to nail down a couple of final things. For bitrate, I'll select 192 kilobits per second. And for output sample rate, I'll select 48 kilohertz. Finally, I can click OK for the sound settings dialog and click OK again for the movie settings dialog. Back in the production wizard, click Next. For video size, select a custom size of 1280 by 720 pixels and click Next.
Include a watermark if you wish. We won't be embedding this in HTML for YouTube, so we're done creating our preset. Click on the Finish button to close the preset wizard. We're done managing our presets, so you can close this box too. We finally return to the production wizard, and we need to select the preset we just created. We can dismiss this warning about selecting a preset that differs from the project settings and click Next. Now you can give your production a name, specify the folder where you would like to find the output, and click Next. Finally, click the Finish button to produce your movie. The resulting video is going to be quite large, and it may take quite a while to upload to YouTube. Fortunately, YouTube has recently raised their file size limit to 1 gigabyte, and it's pretty difficult to exceed that with a 10-minute video. When your file is finished uploading, YouTube will create several versions of the file, and you may have to wait several minutes to half an hour for the high-definition version to show up. When it does, you'll see a link appear below your video that says Watch in HD. When you click the full screen button, the results can be amazing.